ships. This is as close as we can get to the base of the World Trade Center. You can see the firemen assembled here, the police officers, FBI agents, and you can see the two towers. A huge explosion now raining debris on all of us. We better get out of the way. He's in trouble on that one, and everybody's starting to run when they see Tower One falling to the ground. In the general vicinity, of Dan, can you tell us what has just happened? Yes, Peter, it's Don Dealer down here, four blocks north of the World Trade Center. The second building that was hit by the plane has just completely collapsed. The entire building has just collapsed, as if a demolition team set off. When you see the old demolitions of these old buildings, it My folded God. down on itself, and it is not there anymore. That should be it. It Thanks very much. Yeah. It's incredible. Okay, I had to go find people who need help. So I don't think I'm one of them. You okay, sir? Okay. Can I just get a toot off your respirator? Yeah. Can I get a toot? I'm seeing a couple of clean breaths. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> what caused this? Um, if you wish to bring uh, anybody who's ever watched a building being demolished on purpose knows that if you're going to do this you have to get at the at the under infrastructure of a building and bring it down can anybody hear me I'm a civilian I'm tripping inside of one of the fire trucks If you hear us, come in. Yeah, I arrived on the scene about an hour and a half ago, and uh, believe it or not, there was another major explosion. The, build, the building itself, literally the top of it, came down, sending smoke and debris everywhere. Yeah, David Lee, what can you tell us? I was making my way to the foot of the World Trade Center suddenly while talking to an officer who was questioning me about my press credentials. We heard a very loud blast, an explosion. We looked up, and the uh, building literally began to collapse before us. There was uh, smoke left over from the debris. Debris, there's soot. It's difficult to breathe. People ran into nearby office buildings once they got out of the danger zone. Not clear now is why this uh, explosion took place. The east and it just, everything just all of a sudden just imploded. I ran as fast as I could. Went inside of a building about a block away. I stood in the building for a couple of seconds, and then all of a sudden the building started falling out, filling up with smoke. I was with a bunch of law enforcement officers. We couldn't get out of the building because everything was locked up. And then I came out, and everything was filled with ash, and it looks like I'm, looks like I'm in a surreal movie. Do you, do you know if it was an explosion or if it was a building collapse? To me, it sounded like, it, it, to me it sounded like an explosion, then, then the building, the rolling sound sounded like the building collapsed. Were, were there, this is the scene in Lower Manhattan right. where, where the upper Again, floors of the World Trade Center, Church Tower Church. One, apparently have completely four collapsed. Blocks, five blocks from the World Trade Center, and, and we were standing here when, when there was some sort of collapse or explosion, and everyone started running in this direction. This is actually a 
we believe, debris from one of the planes that hit one of the towers in the World Trade Center. The FBI is here, as you can see. They had roped this area off. They were taking photographs and securing this area just prior to that huge explosion that we all heard and felt. It just went ba boom. It was like a bomb went off. And it was like, it was like, holy hell, coming down them stairs. And then when we go, we got, finally got to the bottom. They were coming out on a, a mezzanine level there. And then another explosion came out right from front of me. Just everyone flying right in front of me. Everything just went. I saw the plane coming this way in a spot. It was factory directly to the building. Was this the first plane or the second plane? This was the first plane. The second plane, is this no second plane. It was a bomb. Bomb in another building, not second plane. That was a bomb. Who right. said the second plane? That's what we're told, the second plane, no, we saw it on television. Like, oh, everything. All right. Everyone's coming over our radio. Get out of the area. The second tower is coming over. Yeah, it's about to come There was another big, big explosion in the other tower. Flames coming out in this billowing gray smoke. People still not panicking. People not quite understanding what was going on. Then somebody said that they saw an airliner go into one of those towers. Then, uh, I don't know, an hour later than that, we had that big explosion from much, much lower. I don't know what on earth caused that. The thing that strikes me is, one, the terribleness of the incident, whatever the cause, and we don't go into politics, but whatever the, uh, whatever the cause, the terribleness, the, the hugeness of what's happened, so huge, in fact, that most of the people around simply can't understand what happened. People were just standing around, talking to each other, nodding their heads. Oh, describe it physically because it was too big, too chaotic. It was a cataclysmic release, and it released back into the city in 10 seconds in each case. Then I, I feel someone jumping on top of me, and then the dust. I can't even believe what's happening. It's unreal. This is a fucking sick movie, you know? I gotta get out there again and just look at a few more people. Hey. The top floors collapsed down. I saw it blow, blow and then ran like hell. Thank God. I'm 69, but I can still run. <laughs> yes. So the Twin Towers fall. It's amazing. It's crazy. I can't believe this shit is happening. I really can't. It's nightmares. I'm getting right here. What happened, man? Uh, big boom. Come down the steps, everything fine till we got to the basement and then everything just fell in. Uh, I got trapped in there with another guy, crawled out, kept getting hit in the head, hit bags all around, finally we clawed our way out over the rubble. Yeah. Come on, Dan. We did all right. All right, where'd we Take the water. Come on. Next building. Go in the lobby. Next building. Go in the lobby. Thank you. We got down to the third floor, and that's where the stairwell collapsed on us. And we had to dig our way out. Now the building's coming down. We can't see nothing. Once again, I'm saying our prayers. It, it, you know, the, the, the show is over here now. This is it. And with that, all of a sudden, we're looking for another stairwell. Me and the lieutenant open the door. We find a body in, 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 in this closet. We were like, what the heck is that? Where did this come from? Holy shit, what's going on here? Something's crazy going on. We got we, we got our way out of the third store, and that's where the maintenance fella, with a little flashlight saved our lives. He was pointed over, and if it wasn't for him, we never would have we never would have found another stairwell. The building would have collapsed. So Willie, we, Willie Rodriguez. Willie Rodriguez. Thank, thank you, Willie. Mm -hmm. uh, he saved our lives. He saved about twelve guys' lives that day. At least. At least. Uh, we uh, 
we got down to the lobby and everything was blown out, exploded. Everything was, and we were the only ones in the lobby now. We're going, wait a second here. Where is everybody? 